What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great day today. I know I am. Um, I'm actually doing a lot better since I nuked my void system. I was pretty uh, down on myself for that, but it's on its way back. I was able to salvage some of it, and I'm working on building it back up again. So that being said, whatever you do, do not attempt to do a script that handles git repo maintenance when you're half asleep. Um, you will leave something out, and bad things will happen. <laughs> At least they do to me. So, um, that being said, don't worry. I am in Artix right now. Um, whether that's permanent or not, I don't know. I might stick with Artix. I might go back to Void once I get it up and going. But regardless of whether I do or not, Void is coming back. I am rebuilding my Void configuration. I am re rebuilding my Void setup. And I will continue to make videos pertaining to Void. Um, I love Void. I think it's a great distribution, and I don't think it gets quite enough coverage. Um, so I will be continuing that, so no, don't worry. Whether I move back into it full-time or whether I stick with Artix, I have yet to decide that. Um, I'm living in Artix right now. I'm loving it, um, but you can see I have it, my Herbs Lift client, or my Herbs Lift window manager all set up just like I did in Void, and so I'm really feeling at home right now. I've got a few little things that I need to change. i got to put my icon pack over here, which I lost in the explosion, and um, I got a few other things to set up, but um, that being said, Void is on its way back. I'm in Artix right now. Please be patient with me because Void is coming back. I'm not completely quitting Void. So, that being said, now that I'm back in Artix and kind of doing some stuff, I wanted to show you a little something I did in Herb's Loft that I'm on the fence about. And so, maybe just let me know what you think. Um, are you a Conky user? I'm not usually a Conky user. Um, Conkeys are kind of cool. You can customize them. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with them. So they're they're pretty cool. Um, but there's a lot of times that I don't want all that all over my screen, and you know I don't need all the information in them all the time. But sometimes it's useful to have. You know they can provide a lot of information that yes you can put in your bar, but would make your bar really cluttered. So sometimes it's nice to be able to see some of that, but only see it periodically. So what I've done is I have created a script, and it's a very 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 basic script but what it does is if you see my screen right now you can see I've got my full real estate nothing going on but if I want to actually access my conky which bear with this conky as well this is an old configuration I've had for a long time I haven't updated or anything I just kind of threw it in here to see if the script would work but say I'm in here and I want to bring up a conky for some reason all I have to do is I can press my mod and Z key and what I've got is I've got my conky toggle which you might think okay well that's nothing special there's a lot of you can conky, you can toggle conky on all kinds of stuff. That's not a big deal. Well, you're correct. Let's go ahead and toggle that back off. I'll put push the key, and so let's go ahead and open a couple windows here. We've got our terminal open, say, and we're doing stuff in our terminal. And let's say we've got a browser open as well. So we open Firefox, and we're doing some things. We've got a browser and everything. And we're like, man. Uh, let me check on my conky. Why you want to check on your conky? Well, you got all these windows open. I don't know. But let's go ahead and hit mod Z again. And oh, what happened? We just shrunk down the main window, the main portion of our screen. We popped up our conky. Now look, though, even if we still launch stuff on the other side of the screen and we toggle through the different layouts, that conky still stays visible until I hit mod Z again and then we go away. So basically we just toggle the screen on, toggle the screen off. Really simple, brings up our conky, gives us kind of an idea of what we're looking at, you know, if you need the key binding or whatever like I've got on mine or you want to look at some stuff going on in your system and then you want to toggle it back off, that's great. So let's close down some of these windows and let's go ahead and open, let's just say a couple terminals again. And again, so say you start out and you are in this layout here and you're like, okay, I need to see my conky. Well, you can just do it. It's going to toggle that whole screen back over. It's going to shrink everything down and you can see your conky there. So basically it's a really simple script. Like I said, let's go ahead and zoom in here and let's CD into scripts and let's vim into conk toggle.sh. And as you can see, like I said, I told you it's super simple, but all I did is I got a variable here that is basically looking for conk, which is going to be the PID of conky. So it's going to look for a process ID of conky. If it does not see the process ID for conky, then it knows conky is not running. What it's going to do then is it is going to run Herb's client split horizontal at 0.87. So 87% of the screen is going to stay, but the last 13% is going to open up and become a free space, and then it's going to launch conky in that space. If it does see conky 
If it does see that conkey, like conkey's already launched, what it's going to do is it's going to perform Herb's Client Remove, which is going to put us back to full screen, and it's going to kill conkey. So again, just a super simple script that allows me to um, have a custom conkey there, and I'm thinking about doing some kind of cool stuff with the conkey and maybe just showcasing this for a while. But again, you just hit Mod Z, pops up, you get your conkey, you can get the information you want, you can launch more stuff, and conkey stays there, it doesn't get in your way, and when you want to get rid of it again, you just hit your key binding again, and it goes away. So, again, just a super simple script, something that I've been playing around with, you know, because I like to do stupid little things like this. But I hope you found this interesting. Um, it may be helpful and maybe useful. Maybe you think it's cool and want to use it. Whatever you do, um, hopefully you didn't just hate it and waste your time watching this video. But that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, please help me out. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Let's get this channel growing. I'd really greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great rest of your day. God bless.